Welcome to Retro Recast. We recast your favorites. You like it. I'm Ralphie D, along with JB. JB, what are we hitting them with today? Today, we are continuing with our video game marathon. Yes. Video game movies. Uh -huh. We're going for 2010's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Why are we doing this movie? Because it's a video game. Ah, right. Thank you. Uh, apologies on top, uh, off top to Frank G. Um, good luck finding these uh, actors. <laughs> no <laughs> one will have heard of them but him. Hey, you know how I do. <laughs> Go ahead and kick it off. All right, first we have King Sharmon. Yes. He was king of Persia in the video game in the movie. Uh, I chose Omar Sharif. Oh, man. All right, you're starting off strong with me. Mm -hmm. Unlimitedbudget.com. Unlimited budget. <laughs> All right, right on. I chose a, a well-known actor named Barbette Schroeder. Yes, you know him from movies such as Single White Female and Murder by Numbers. And he starred in a movie with uh, Mickey Rourke called Barfly back in the 80s. Let's keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. Uh, next we have Tuss, yes. the eldest son of the king. I think it's pronounced Tuss. Tuss, Tuss, something. Actually, I don't know. I'm just making that up. <laughs> I chose a, a fellow I like from uh, Law and Order, uh -huh. Benjamin Bratt. Ah, that's good, good. It seems you're keeping with the uh, non-Persian actor picking of these. Uh, <laughs> keeping it whitewashed. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Oh, that's my right. goodness. <laughs> Hey, I got Dominic Reigns in this film. Uh, in this film, he was in a movie called A Girl Walks Home at Night. It came out in 2014. Nice little horror flick. You should check it out. And he's Persian, according to the internet. <laughs> yeah. What's up next, buddy? Next to my whitewashing, we have Garcia, <laughs> the younger brother. Yes. Uh, uh, he's still Prince. Uh, his name, or the name, person I picked. Uh, one of my favorite actors from End of Watch. You've seen him, Michael Pena. I love that movie, and I like that pick. Even though, I mean, we can't call it whitewashed if he's a brown guy. Or can we? <laughs> you know what? We'll do it. You it's... make the decision. <laughs> you know what? Uh, keeping it real, uh, Pej Vadat. Good luck finding that one, Frank G. Also from A Girl <laughs> Walks Home at Night, so just go to that page and pick his picture. <laughs> oh, wow. we're going to have like four question marks up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we have, and I don't have my reading glasses. Sesso. Sesso. That was the bodyguard of mm -hmm. Shikamar, who ran the ostrich races. Yeah. And for him, I chose Tony Todd. Ah, all right. You're taking a page out of my book. I wanted someone big, scary, mm -hmm. and someone you would not want to throw a knife at you. No, that's true. That's true. And I'm going to pick another actor that people have said I look like besides Tony Todd. Peter Mensa from Spartacus Blood and Sand. That's right. And you, uh, he's a badass, man. All right. Next we have uh, Shikamar. Yes. He's a comic relief. He was in charge of the ostrich races. Through that. I chose Tony Shalhoub. Damn. All right. You know what? Your list is getting better, young Padawan. <laughs> Very good. Just don't pull a lightsaber out on me yet. Uh, Marco Khan from a small movie called 10,000 BC. It's trash. But we're making this movie better <laughs> with his presence. What's up next? All right. Nizan, the uh -huh. uncle, the, the villain of the movie, Treacherous. Yes. That's a spoiler, by the way. Sorry. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> on this nine-year-old movie. <laughs> I chose Heavy R. Bardeen. Mm, that's good. He's, yeah. he's about the right age because he's the younger brother of King Sharman. But, uh, very scary as Antoine he's, Sugar. He's, he's a very good villain. Definitely. One of the best, I might say. Mm. Uh, Maz Jabrani. Hey. Uh, he's a great, he's actually a comedic actor, but he gets a lot of dramatic stuff. Uh, he's been in uh, Friday After Next, as a matter of fact, and a lot of TV shows that they needed a Persian guy or a brown person to do their bidding in these movies. What's up next, JB? Next is the Princess Tamina. Yeah. And I chose Catherine Bell. All right. And before you accuse me of whitewashing, uh, it was she's already... Persian. Is she really? Yeah, she oh, was on the list. Thank you, JB. I One of the few that. names I recognize because right. I don't watch a lot of movies. All right, right on. Uh, on my list is Nassim Padrao. Uh, she's in the new Aladdin movie. So uh, she's actually, actually uh, Padrad. I'm sorry, Nassim Padrad. She's in the new Aladdin movie coming out this year with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Will Smith, that's right. Talk about whitewashing. Finally, we have the star of the movie, 
Dastan, yes. the hero. I went in a different direction on this one. I chose Gal Gadot. Oh, God, I hate it when you do this to me, JB! <laughs> All right. Why couldn't it be a princess of Persia? All right. All right. You know, I did, that's something I would do, so I can't give you too much hell for it. Uh, Bobby Nadiri, you got a part in this flick. He was in this movie that I loathe called Bright that came out in 2016, also starring Will Smith. Uh, you know what? I think I may have won this week. I don't know. I got a few on you. Well, we'll leave it up to the people. Well, I'd like to set a shout out to my man AM, AM. The Comics Most Wanted. Most Wanted. Like them, follow them, subscribe. We'd like to hear what you think, etc., etc. Ah, I've done it. Pull yourself together. 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 Together.